mulberries in May are the beginning of our late spring and summer harvest. Welcome to the Sowing Seed Podcast. One guy's thoughts on family, faith, farming, and financial freedom. Now from the Farms Podcast Studio, here's your host, Matt Miller. Harvesting fruit from a variety of trees and plants here over the last couple of weeks. The first of which is the mulberry trees. It's kind of interesting. Several years ago, I had a seed catalog like I get so many of from January through March each and every year. I was trying to figure out what other plants or trees I might plant here at EIEIO to continue to give us some variety and some different produce that we could harvest throughout the year to help feed the family. And mulberries came to mind. Didn't know anything about them, just knew the name and figured what the heck. So I think I bought three or four mulberry trees and we planted them. Well, I've since learned that in many parts of the country, mulberries grow like weeds and So somebody who came to visit for our franchisee training SSVU at one point mentioned that they grow like weeds in their area and thought it was curious that we would actually want to plant a mulberry tree. Well, anyway, last year they started producing mulberries and I had never tried them before. And for those of you that don't know, a mulberry looks very similar to a blackberry, but it's about a third of its size. And it's much sweeter than a blackberry. It doesn't have the tartness of blackberries. Anyway, we did some reading online and figured out that the best way to harvest them was to get a couple of sheets and lay them on the ground below the tree and kind of shake it because the the berries are so small that it takes an awful lot of work to pick them one by one to get any substantial amount of fruit to do anything with. When I'm mowing the lawn this time of year, I love to go by those trees and just pick the mulberries off as I go by as a snack while mowing. But anyway, the mulberries in early May begin our fruit harvest season. Blackberries and apricots follow shortly thereafter, and then peaches will follow a month or so even after that. There's something special about planting trees, watching God grow them, and then them ultimately producing a harvest and producing that harvest year after year after year after year, and the ability to provide for one's family, one's community, one's neighborhood with some of that harvest. Love, love, love this time of year, and love the ripening of the mulberry for what it symbolizes here at EIEIO. Thanks for listening. Check out our website, sowingseed.net, the Sowing Seed channel on YouTube. And if you got something out of today's podcast, give us a five star review on your podcast player of choice. Until next time, go plant the seed you need to succeed.